Hi, I'm the Moorlander and this is Moorlander EDC. It's probably one to note down in the uh, in the diary. It's it's not raining today, so thought I'd come outside. Um, now I'll get straight into it because what we are here today to look at are the one shear uh, from ER Life. Um, this is something that I purchased myself. Full disclosure. Before we get into this, I think it's important to point out that I'm, I'm not a trained healthcare professional. Um, although I do work in the medical industry, it's, it's slightly different to actually being on the front line um, and, and helping people. Um, so I, I, I kind of have some appreciation of how valuable um, a good set of um, trauma shears are. Other than the fact that you know I've I've not actually been out and I've I've used those, I've used these and I've been testing these a lot more around EDC every single day. If I need to cut something rather than trying to find a knife or something like that to use, then I've been cutting them with these. And the feedback that I'm going to give mainly is from everyday use rather than actually being out and helping to save patients' lives. So, having said that, I think it's probably good now. What we'll do is we'll turn the camera around so we can have a little bit of a closer look at these. Also, maybe compare them to a few other types of scissors that I've made some contact uh, content on in the past. Um, while I'm turning the camera around, if at any point you, you, you do enjoy or like this video or even find it a little bit funny, then please feel free to hit that like button and subscribe. That would be awesome. But let's have a look at the one shear. Okay, so here are the extreme one shear trauma shears. Um, usually, do you know? We'll talk about um, dimensions and stuff like that. Although dimensions on this one are actually really, really quite easy in the fact that, um, as far as from the the tip here to the end, it comes in at 203 millimeters. At its widest point here, it's 105 millimeters. Here. At its, at its thinnest point, um, just where the, the pivot pin is there, um, it comes down to about 100, uh, sorry, it comes down to about 15 millimeters. Um, now, to compare it, if you, you know, I, I, I bring this in quite a bit, this is um, my trauma shear uh, scissor holder from um, Tasmania Tiger. So when, when this pushes into them, you can see it, it, it fits in perfectly. They are a little bit wider here on this section compared to normal trauma shears, which, you know, is, is a good thing. It, it helps with that strength. So they do sit a little bit higher up in one of these if you do have one, um, but they still fit in perfectly. In fact, it's a little bit easier to get them in Actually, let's let's go through, through some some more of the features. Um, the material that this is made from this is made from high strength steel. Um, the the jaws are diamond coated, and on this bottom side here, whether you can see this or not, these are serrated to to make sure that you know they don't slip uh, when they're when they're being used. The handles are made from a, a fiber reinforced nylon and they are really tough. Um, there's, there's absolutely no give in those whatsoever. Uh, and with a magnet in there, you can see that it, it does extend in quite, quite far into those. Here at the bottom where the pivot is, there is a pivot pin that can be undone with a screwdriver so that you can either um, make them so that they're tighter or, or more loose but mainly so that if you want to if these are being used there's a lot of particulates on here that you need to make sure that you can clean off then you can undo this and you can completely take them apart as far as safety is concerned these are they, they have a flat bottom and then towards the end there is a blunt end to make sure that if, the, if this is pushed under any clothing um, it's not going to uh, cut whatever is underneath there it's a standard feature i'm sure if you are um, you use these style scissors or shears quite a lot you'll know that they have this here on the end to make sure that it, it it's easy to run it across any skin to make sure that it doesn't cut but we'll we'll, we'll come to the differences between these in a minute the other major 
difference and that is where the kind of the extreme side of these comes from is when I turn it like that. So the thickness of the stock here um, is three millimeters, so six millimeters in total. When you try to add any sort of rotational force to these, well, you know, you have to be pretty strong to be able to do that. There is no give in them whatsoever. When you cut, this cut is, and I'm trying, I've, I've been struggling to try and think of the words all day. I, I wanna say precise, which, you know, a, a pair of scissors is precise, but I think a lot of that precision comes from, and the only analogy that I can think of is, remember those old, guillotines that you used to get in art where you'd put the paper down and you'd, you'd cut through them the sound that you got from that you knew because the the pivot on that guillotine was ridiculously strong i hope this all makes sense and you all had these guillotines in your in your in your art rooms it's it's like it's similar to that you push this down and there's an app absolutely no give in it whatsoever even when you're trying to cut through something that is particularly tough now um i had some of that plastic banding arrive on something that, that you know that was sent to me and i cut through the plastic banding on there we'll have a look and a little cut test on on this in in, in a moment but it, it, it is it's just knife through butter with no slip what you can often get with scissors, you probably you probably found this with cheap scissors that you used to use when you were a child. Um, you get it sometimes where this pries apart, whereas with these there is very little of that. In fact, there's, you know, there's there's hardly any. So that when you cut through something, it does it really well. The other feature that is on here is there is a, an oxygen tap key here, just in case you need to use that. There's a little bit of branding here at the bottom. Uh, and then here I got these from Jackal Medical uh, and you can, they, they, uh, they had that on the side. Um, if I remember rightly on the website, when, when you purchase some of these, there is an option to, to have some engraving on here. So you can, you can personalize them. As far as the, um, the handles are concerned, there's uh, uh, maybe a dozen or so different colors. There's lots of different flat colors. Uh, I mean, I'm guessing here, but there's probably there's red, green, orange, blue, uh, black, white, gray, and so on. But then there's also some two-tone um, ones as well, where you can get like red and green, or I can't remember the exact combinations, but I'll leave a link in the description so that you can, you can see the different colors. Now, comparing the two, here um hopefully i mean to, to look at them they are very similar but the difference mainly comes in when i turn them like that so they both have uh ergonomically you know they they both fit in your hand actually this one fits a little bit better because they are wider they're a little bit more rounder there's there's no sort of pinch there's no sort of pinch really with these either um but there's an extra I suppose on a knife it would be called a finger choil, but there's an extra bit here so that you can you can put your hand under there. If you want to have your finger on the outside, you can do. This is designed to have some sort of lanyard put through there. However, you can also use that to grip your finger on as well. They, they don't have this on here. These are a three pound pair of shears that I, I just got from Amazon. But hopefully you'll notice with these, so the thickness of this, I measured it and it comes in at 1.2 millimeters. So this is nearly three times the thickness of these. The strength from these comes in the fact that these are pressed from, uh, from with, with a punch from a, a single sheet of steel. Um, it's stainless steel, so you know, it, 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 it's a little bit stronger and it's easier to clean, however, it's very flimsy. They are very, very flimsy. It's, e it's easy to bend them. So this, um, this ridge here, which obviously goes on, on the outside here, but on the inside, you can see it there. That's used to make sure that they keep their strength. You know, and the difficulty with that is that any particulates or blood or anything like that, it, it's very difficult to get it out of here and you have to make sure that these are thoroughly cleaned. You also can't take these apart. There's, there's absolutely no way in which you can do that um, without, without damaging them. Hopefully you can see, I don't know if you can see if I, if I turn that there, these are very cheaply made, you know, they, they 
push them together, they punch them out, they sharpen it. They also have uh, some serration on there, but the confidence in cutting that you don't get with these is, is certainly massive with these. Now just to show you some extra ones, um, and I mainly I'm bringing these in purely because if you're thinking about EDC scissors and the advantage with uh, over these is, the quickest and easiest thing to, to, I mean these are all very strong, they are just as thick, um, with, uh, as, or maybe these are they're actually slightly thicker. Um, but with these, if you look as far as levers are concerned, um, here are the ends of your levers and there is the fulcrum and it is roughly in the middle of those levers. So whatever um, pressure you put into that, the pressure is exactly the same here. Whereas with these shears, hopefully you'll be able to see as far as the fulcrum is concerned, it's roughly at one third and then two thirds here so the pressure that you put into this is a lot stronger in here so being able to cut with these certainly makes it a lot easier and as my wise old nan always used to say you know the proof of the pudding is in the tasting now i have got some material this was something that was cut off a, a pair of my wife's jeans a, a few years back which i kept unfortunately it's black on black so it's a little bit difficult to see but hopefully you can see here are your standard few dollar from Amazon style scissors to be able to cut through this, which is a which is a common practice for um, healthcare professionals if they need to get someone out of the clothes. You know, it it does a, an admirable job, but when you start to get through where the stitches are, um, you, you you have to go at it a little bit more. That's mainly because you get that rotational factor where the strength of the the actual jaws and the integrity of that strength it starts to wane because um, instead of being able to apply that pressure they, they start to twist and come undone so that the jaws instead of cutting they they slip like that rather than rather than cutting they do a good job um, but you know it's it's not as strong as maybe something like these so you know, we looked at these, these do a great job. These cut through like a knife or like a warm knife through butter. There's absolutely no issues with these. The difficulty with these is, if you were to say, call it a difficulty, is the fact that you've got that difference in the pressure that you can apply to these, which is where the one shear comes into its element. Being able to cut through so this is a this is a double layer. So I have a front and a back, and this is denim. Uh, it's passed passed through the seam, passed through the seam without any issues whatsoever. Cutting through this, you know, it's 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 almost as though it's not it's not there. What I've done now is rolled it over and gone against the seam. And you, you can see it, it again it just it just cuts through it no issues whatsoever in fact let's do so let's do let's do four ply and two seams at the end so through the main denim no issues whatsoever I get to the end and again no issues whatsoever it just chews through them and the extra leverage that you get against the fulcrum with these certainly helps you to be able to, to to be able to cut through those as as quickly as possible now what do i think about the one shear i think they're great um as i previously mentioned though you know i've been testing these out in an edc capacity i've been cutting boxes open i've been cutting paper you know all of the normal day-to-day -day stuff i've tested it on clothing and they cut through clothing like a knife through butter I think the big difference is the fact that when you compare the two of these, it, they, they really are like chalk and cheese. Granted, these do a good job, you know, you can cut through things with these, but with the extra precision and strength that you get from these, they're, they're pretty much invaluable. I think if you are uh, an ambulance driver or an EMT or first responder, or even if you're in the police, fire service, or even the armed forces, I think it'd be really useful to, to have something like this that you can rely on constantly um, and not, not have to worry about them. The fact that you can also strip these down as well. Again, you know, I don't know too much about 
uh, the ins and outs of making sure but you know common sense says if you can strip something apart to be able to clean it then there's less chance of any bacteria or particulates or anything like that being left around uh, whereas one of these it's a little bit more of a struggle to be able to do that if you're not um, in the medical profession, these make these make absolutely amazing uh, EDC scissors. Uh, some of the other scissors maybe have a few more features to them, bottle openers, that sort of stuff. But you know, in EDC, we generally tend to have something like that somewhere else. Um, with the extra leverage or leverage that you get with these, being able to cut through things is actually a lot easier than you get with some other scissors. Um, and the fact that you can put this into um, one of those slips that you get for these sort of scissors. People in the know when they see these, they know that they are not an offensive item just mainly because they're designed to be 100% safe. 100% safe. Um, so if you need to carry something to cut things in a situation where you can't, maybe take a knife. Um, yeah, I think these are great. Um, they also do these, I've just seen on the website, they also do these as a mini version. I think they're either called the mini or the micro version. So what I'll try and do is I'll try and see if I can get my hands on um, that version as well. I'll try and see if I can compare the two and also compare them to some of the other sh uh, scissors that we've looked at today. I think that'll be quite useful because these are great for EMT and that sort of service, whereas I think the smaller ones might be even better for EDC uh, and, and ha either having them on your person or having them off body when you, you're carrying it in, in, in a pack. I'll leave some links to this in the description below. Now I'm going to have to double check this, yes, so Jack Jackal Medical, I've tried quite a bit to see if I can get these here in the UK uh, and I think the only, well, the, the company that I purchased these from were Jackal Medical, so I'll leave their information here below I'm not getting paid to do this I, I just think it's fair you know that at the moment they're the only people that I could find that I could get these from so if, if you're after those I'll leave in the link in the description below and also to uh, one Shears website if you're outside of the UK and you want to get some of these as well they'll all be there there will also be some of my social media links as I say, if you've if you've enjoyed this or even at any point just found it a little whimsical and funny, then please feel free to hit that like, subscribe, share. Um, but for now, stay safe, stay Morelander, and stay EDC.